Alrighty then. Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Priscilla, and I have a fun drawing challenge for all of you today. My friend Wes, uh, you probably have seen Wes in a couple of my videos. He shows up every now and then. He brought up the fact that he was playing this fun game called Rory Story Cubes. Whoa, there goes my coffee. If you've never heard of Rory Story Cubes before, basically it's this fun game that you play with your friends or family using these dice. Now all of these dice have specific images on them, so when you roll your dice, you have to story that includes all the images that are on your dice. And it can be as crazy as possible. But then you can come up with stories like these. This is the story of once upon a time there was a flower princess and she would sit by the fountain and sing every afternoon till she felt a cool overpowering presence behind her. The shadow man greeted her. He challenged her with the question asking her can she count the pyramids in Egypt? Instead of answering his question, she hit him in the head with her cane and he fell unconscious for she had been injured for several months due to falling down the staircase and you can see here's her little wrap-up cast here's her cane and her sitting by the fountain and of course there's the shadow man with the um, original calculator that mathematicians used back in the day so the shadow man everything so you can create these characters in these stories well, I would like to create a couple of characters today using these dice and storytelling skills so let's go ahead and see what we can come up with all right so once upon a time there was a guy there was a kid named Jimmy who was always afraid of his own shadow and afraid of everything one day he was sitting in his house working on his math homework till all of a sudden flash ran in and flash told Jimmy Jimmy I need you to help me save the world and of course Jimmy was completely confused so the Flash ran away, giving him a couple of instructions and directions on how to save the world. Jimmy had to run around his yard, for he was turned into a speedster, and he had to run around his yard <laughs> to, to turn the time, the time continuum speed force back to normal, and he saved the day, rainbow over his house, to let him know that the world was safe once again. All right, so let's draw Jimmy and the Flash. So I went to go ahead and do some Copic markers to illustrate all these with Copic markers just because it has been so long since I've used Copic markers. <laughs> it's been like a month or something that I haven't used them. I wanted to draw Jimmy and I wanted to draw the Flash and I kind of wanted to have the Flash being like, hey, come follow me, we gotta save the time space continuum whatever the speed force like i came up with <laughs> i wanted to draw like this timid looking kid who always looks like he's scared and the flash kind of like grabbing onto him and turning him into a speedster and i put like a little lightning bolt on jimmy's shirt to show that he had he was affected and now i mean well, how cool would it be to have a kid speedster? Because we've had, like, Wally, who's a teenager. And, I mean, the Flash was a teenager once, too. But we never had, like, a kid, like, below 12 years old. So it would be cool to have, like, um, Captain Marvel and the Young Justice cartoon series. Like, the first season. Captain Marvel being, like, a young kid. How cool would it be if we had another young superhero movie or a young speedster? Let's do another. Once upon a time, there was a bee who was very dramatic. And one day he saw the house that he, li he lived next to was on fire. So the bee decided to be investigative of the fire to see that the fire was started by a cane that was set on fire so he decided he was going to become a superhero of the world because he was a very dramatic bee so while the family stood by questioning what was going on the bee decided to turn on the sprinklers of the house and the house fire went out and it was a miraculous wonderful day because he saved the world and once again another rainbow came out to say hello you saved the day whoosh magicalness of nature Woo! let's draw our superhero bee 
I feel like this is a thing going on right now with all the superhero themes. And that's the thing about Rory's Cubes, you can have like topics when you're playing with your friends or family. I saw a couple of guys on YouTube because I wanted to see how people played these games because I've never played it like with friends or anything by myself. Um, I, like, I never went to an actual event where somebody said, Hey, let's play Rory Story Cube. So I watched a ton of YouTubers, and one guy was saying, Hey, I'm gonna give you the topic of horror, and you're gonna tell me a story going, tell me a scary story using Rory Story Cube. So that's really cool that you can give these people these themes, and they have to come up with a story only using the images on the cubes. And they have, like, three different varieties. I think there's, like, four, actually. But I bought the Voyage and ready lights camera action one and the one that was like far far away it was a green and blue package and i bought those for my art class to use too one more time once upon a time there was this fish and she wanted to be a professional singer so one day an alien stopped by and told her that he could turn her into a fish who could sing and a famous jazz club singer so he granted her this wish and turned her into this singer and she decided to work she she became a jazz singer at this club called Castlevania. <laughs> this guy named Blue decided to show up because it's an L. I don't know. <laughs> and he was investigating a murder mystery that happened near the Chaz Club, Castlevania. And he questioned her because there was a guy living in a teepee outside of the Jazz Club restaurant and he was murdered with his own arrows. So she became a prime suspect because she was the fish that sang at the Jazz Club. The end. So that's a scene. So let's go ahead and draw this fish singer girl. And yeah, it's so much fun. All right. Oh, I just added on. It turns out that the alien killed the guy that was living in the TP outside of the jazz club. So yeah. <laughs> so drawing Miss Fishy Fish. Uh, I guess she actually like I don't think that she I think she was just like a singing fish that lived above the ground in the jazz club so but she didn't swim in the water so I wonder <laughs> she probably hopped around on her tail fin or maybe she floated like she just had the power to float around like she was swimming in the air I don't know I, I really don't know but the possibilities are endless in how she actually moved around and got to her singing gigs at Castlevania. Who knows? But <laughs> I thought it would be funny if there was like an investigator because you know with jazz club singers and gangsters there's always like a murder mystery and we already were talking about The Flash and the musical episode with The Flash. It, that just had me thinking about the jazz singer and the murder mystery. So. Who knows, my mind is going crazy with these story cubes, but, <laughs> but yes, these are a lot of fun and I would definitely recommend them for any people who are in art block or just need a fun game to play with their friends and family around Thanksgiving or Christmas time. So if you're having a bit of a art block, then this is what you need to do buy some story cubes plus it's a really fun game for you and your artist friends to participate with or you're just feeling a little bit bored for the day and you want to make something they're your best friends um i bought mine from walmart and i actually went ahead and i took these to my art my cartoon art class that i teach and they loved it they absolutely loved it they had so much fun and they came up with so many crazy characters it was a it was really 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 cool and i'm so happy that i got to introduce this to them and thank you wes for suggesting this but yes guys i hope you have a most wonderful day and i will see you all later bye